Hi everyone! Today, let's talk about Paraponera clavata. These rainforest giants are famous for their powerful sting, but there's much more to them than pain. Get ready to explore their behavior, diet, and colony life and find out what makes them one of the masters of their tropical forest homes. As members of the ancient Poneroids group, they have smaller colonies and forage independently. Also called bullet ant or hormiga de bala locally, this species earns its name from the intensity of its sting, which is known to be one of the most painful ones in the insect world. From their striking coloration to their disciplined foraging, bullet ants are among the most impressive and easily recognizable ants. Are you ready? But before we dive in, we'd like to show you something to Ant Cube's educational posters. These aren't just pretty pictures. We made sure they're packed with info. Real sizes, habitats, special traits of each ant species shown. They've got interactive QR codes, so if you wish you can dive even deeper. They look amazing on the wall and as a drawing as close to nature as possible. Perfect if you're an ant nerd like us. You can grab yours over at antcube.shop. The link is in the description. And if you use our code antstock10, that is antstock10, there is 10% off. Buying it supports this channel and you'll make everybody here very happy. Paraponera clavata is native to Central and South America. You can generally spot them in the forest or lowland rainforests, mainly at night, but enough of them have stuff to do around the nest during the day too. They like to hunt or forage on trees and plants and also on wooden railing next to trails. So watch what you grab with those fingers. Bullet ants nest in soil at the base of trees or under leaf litter. Their colonies are relatively small compared to other ants, usually containing 200 to 500 workers. So for small colonies like this, they compensate for their low numbers with every ant being exceptionally strong, fast, built for survival. Workers of the clavatas are large and robust and they can almost reach the height of a one cent coin. Their bodies are glossy black with reddish brown mandibles and legs. Its impressive size, distinctive antennal grooves, and the unusual shape of its petiole make the only survivor of this ancient prehistoric genus instantly recognizable. Unlike some ants with extreme size differences between castes, Paraponera clavata workers are all similar in size, each one of them built for combat and foraging. Queens are slightly larger, up to 30 millimeters, and produce eggs while the workers maintain the colony. But the queen, even after fertilization, hunts herself until the first workers are able to. Weirdly enough, their big size is not an advantage in their foraging strategy. Compared to other ant species, they have been observed undertaking quite long foraging trips away from the nest to find food. A large body means a larger expenditure of energy per distance traveled. We are unsure as to why they developed such behavior. Despite their size and strength, bullet ants have relatively thin exoskeletons in some areas. This is likely an adaptation to an environment low in nitrogen, like the rainforest they are found in. To understand the way they perceive the world, we need to go back to 1996. Back then, scientists found that bullet ants don't just follow pheromone trails, like most ants. They actually use their eyes to navigate. When researchers blocked their view of the canopy, the ants got completely lost, even though the chemical trail was still there. But if the pheromones were wiped out and the ants could still see the forest around them, they marched straight back to the nest. Turns out, bullet ants are able to rely on their visual senses much more than is usually observed in ants. Here's what the research says. Workers live about 90 days and queens only two to three years. That's incredibly short compared to their cousins, the giant bull ants of Australia, where queens can survive up to 15 years and workers as long as two years. So is body size the reason bullet ants live fast and die young? Apparently not, as bull ants and Paraponera clavata are built similarly. Size alone does not seem to explain it. A 2017 laboratory study suggested that bullet ants take a whopping 18 months to raise a full generation of workers. The ants only live three months on average, but need a year and a half to produce more workers. As the species is monogyne, meaning single queened, they can't multiply the number of eggs thanks to more queens. How can a colony survive with that kind of math? Here's where things get interesting. In our indoor colonies, we saw something very different. Workers lived over two years, not 90 days. Full ant development was much quicker too, about six months at most, instead of 18. But that is still pretty long in comparison to other ant species. So what's going on here? Well, we have a couple of ideas. 
bullet ants come from a very old branch of the ant family tree. Maybe longer lifespans only evolved later in more modern ants. Also, while waiting for the first eggs to hatch, the queen hunts to survive. Being away regularly means the Clavata queen has less opportunities for grooming. Because of that, the first generation might have a longer development cycle than the other species where queens remain underground. So, finally, about the difference between our own indoor colony observation and the scientists' lab experiment, it's also possible that the lab study created artificial stress through things like the food and air quality, frequent vibrations through loud sounds or physical impacts, something our sting-happy friends have a strong dislike for. These factors might have slowed development and cut lifespans short. Uh, hey, quick note from future me. After recording this episode, some news reached us that are worth mentioning for completeness sake. A friend and fellow ant enthusiast from Costa Rica contacted us regarding the Clavata ant's life cycle. The details he mentioned revealed some interesting differences to the study we just talked about. The queen of his Clavata colony is 10 years old and he observed her workers to have lifespans between 3 to 5 years. He also mentions it takes them about 75 days to develop from egg to adult and those numbers are quite different from what the study says. Okay, back to the video. The bullet ant sting contains ponerotoxin, causing intense pain, temporary paralysis and numbness. How does that work? Well, ponerotoxin scrambles the electrical signals in nerves and muscles, making them overactive, prolonged or blocked. That's why the bullet ant sting causes such intense pain and can disrupt muscle control. While it's incredibly painful, it's rarely lethal. The sting is primarily a defense mechanism. Here you can watch us handling one. She does not attempt to bite or sting as we pose no threat to her. But please, no trying this at home. But accidents happen, right? So what if you were stung by one of them? Contrary to many insects, the pain inflicted by the venom will last hours, spreading around the wound and working its way deeper into the tissue over time. Bullet ants do not only eat small arthropods, they like to go for nectar as well. It's actually their primary food source. When they don't transport food, you will see them transporting materials to fix their nest. Paraponera clavata ants, above all, are builders. But once they're out exploring, it's a bit different. Instead of defending their hunting grounds wherever they go, they mostly just try to outrace other ants to compete for food. First come, first serve. Fights do break out occasionally, but it's not about holding ground. Though the closer you get to their nest, the more defensive they will become. Workers can instantly tell who's a nestmate and who's an outsider and will act accordingly. In short, bullet ants don't bother with strict borders, they just make sure nothing threatening gets too close to home. That's it for today. If you enjoyed learning about bullet ants, give it a like, subscribe and hit the bell to follow for more in-depth looks at amazing ant species. Don't forget to have a look at the posters that we mentioned. The link is in the description.